Hey everyone and welcome back. Today's video is super short. It is just introducing the text expander app that I've found for Windows and how I use that in LogSeq. This is something which I've been looking for for a while ever since I saw Santi Younger using his text expander app but his was a Mac based program. I think it was Alfred and I, I, I subsequently saw that he was looking for Windows based programs but the ones that came up, I think it was Uli and AutoHotKey, just seemed like long or like steeper learning curves and I just didn't have the time to invest in them. Uh, this past week I took uh, an hour or two and I just had a proper look around and I found this A-Text um, program which I'm going to introduce today. It's super simple to use, really no learning curve, very beginner friendly and it really just helps with my templates in LogSeq. So this is the website where you find it. Um, if you just Google ATEX, I'm sure you'll find it. You can get it from the Microsoft Store or if you have a Mac, you can buy it for $5. Luckily, I just got it for Windows. And yeah, as I say, it's super simple to use. So the premise is that you enter a series of shortcut keys and then when you enter that sequence of keys, it expands it to whatever you have input there. So I've defined a whole bunch over here and the most popular one that I like to use, before I do that, let me maybe just change this, um, the settings because they look a little bit garish. So I'm gonna put uh, the appearance on light mode. It's better for videos and then I'll make it blue. Lovely. So as I said, you can define a sequence of keys and then this over here is what will be inputted here. Let me maybe not start with this one because this is using HTML and I'll get to that now. But if I look at my morning pages template, I just have defined that as TXM. So text expander M, that's my logic of thinking about it because I'm not going to use that sequence of keys anywhere else. So when I enter that into LogSeq and you'll see my little keyboard shortcut here coming up, TXM. It's doing some script there, which is at control V, I guess. It now pastes that text that I've inputted in to my A text shortcuts. You know, it's much simpler than going forward slash templates, morning pages. I mean, that works, but I'm lazy. So hands up there. If I use the, the shortcut TXCR, it pastes this crumbs template. So these are my most popular templates that I use very regularly, morning pages. I use it almost every day. I haven't put it into my workflow to like automatically pop up in my daily journal because I don't use it every day and I don't want it to lie empty. But this TXCR, TX crumbs that I use often to input text. I've gone one step further into laziness. So if I've got a tweet, I use TXCT, so TXCT, and that pre-populates that exact same block um, just with tweet. And then similarly, and it gives me the, the curly brackets to, to go and, and enter that tweet link. And then similarly, if I enter TXCA, it populates that same block with article. And I think the other one that I use is TXCP, podcast, etc. So it just very simply takes the text that I've entered into that other platform and I and it runs that that sequence of keystrokes basically. So I've turned that uh, the sequencing at the bottom left of the screen off. But if I go to a demo now, you can see here all these examples are the auth or the software creator's own examples. I don't use them. I'm probably going to delete all of them so that I don't accidentally do anything I don't want to do. But then I've just defined a new group which is LogSeq. And if I go here and I say new snippets. I can say, let me use TXD and this is just a demo. So this is just a demo. Now I go back to LogSeq and let me go there, TXD. This is just a demo, super simple. Now I had a little bit of trouble with the ones that are all in one block. So those crumbs templates, there should be no line breaks between the different lines. But when I tried that, let me just go here, demo and attributes. So it's just again, two attributes. It didn't work, it put them on separate lines. So logseek again, txd. So 
now it's working, you know, Murphy's law or Sod's law if you're in the UK. And, but what I was getting was this effect and that's not very nice. So the way that I circumvented that was by using HTML. So just using this pre and then this break at the end there. I don't know HTML. I just Googled this and, and it seems to work. So happy days. And this is really something which I've been looking to do for a long time. And I'm super chuffed that it's now implemented and it didn't take that long. So hopefully someone might uh, also find this valuable. I also just wanted to add on a personal note. This is the first video that I've made for a while. It's been a tough time uh, moving countries and yeah, although I made one when I arrived, it's been crazy for the last few weeks, but I'm hoping to take a little bit more time and invest it in the channel. I really thank everyone for the support. It's been amazing so far. Uh, the internet is not as bad a place as I thought it was. I've now gotten to one of my first goals, which was a thousand subscribers and yeah, my goal was to not say please subscribe. So I appreciate every one of you who did that voluntarily. It really means a lot to me. And I really hope that I can continue to make some good videos. I'm still working on a whole bunch of things which I'm super excited about, like some plugins, some getting things done workflows, maybe some improvements to the Zettelcast and stuff. So let's hope that this is just the start of the journey. So thanks so much.